Hi, I'm Matthew Cavalier, and welcome back to my channel, Moments with Matthew. So if I'm being 100% honest, I'm stuck. I'm feeling stuck professionally and financially. I was doing really well. I'm not in any kind of major debt, but I'm not feeling like I am 100% where I want to be financially to feel as secure as I'd like. Professionally, I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels, not doing something I'm 100% passionate about. I do love teaching and I love the relationships that I build, but I feel like there's more I want to do. I want to expand and I want to grow and I want to do more. And right now I'm just feeling like I don't know where to go next. And that's okay. We all have those moments where we start to feel like, am I doing what is best for me? Am I expanding and growing and continuing to move forward on the path that is for me? And right now I feel like I'm just standing, looking around at what's going on around me without fully being engaged 100% with what I am doing. And again, this is a feeling professionally and again financially, but it is beginning to bleed over into the other parts of my life. I am feeling disconnected from those that I love, not intentionally and not in a deep major way, but I feel like there's a wall there that I can't break through. Almost like a little jelly that I just can't push my way through that keeps me just slightly separated. That I can see the world around me and I know its beauty and its love but it's kind of like a film getting in the way and I can't break free of it. Something that's just keeping the world, its beauty out of focus from me. I'm not feeling it from the depression and anxiety that I usually feel it from. That's not the lens that I'm looking at. It's more of a disconnection and it goes back to that feeling of being stuck. And I know that I need to start figuring out how to unstick myself. It's kind of like, and yes, I'm going to date myself here, the never ending story where Atreyu gets stuck in the bog and his horse can't move and he uses and he loses that horse. And I just feel like I'm stuck. I don't feel like I'm sinking yet, so that is a good thing, but I do feel stuck and I'm ready to get unstuck. I'm ready to start feeling that joy again. I've picked up my affirmations. I've picked up my changing mindset. I've picked up the laws of attraction and I'm really trying to change my mindset and willing myself to move forward again. It's not always easy. It is difficult and it feels difficult right now, but you just need a little bit of a light, a little bit of something that gives you hope to move forward in the right way. One of my bits of hope is I'm finishing my master's soon. That should open up some awesome doors for me, some awesome ways to move forward and experience what I'm doing in a brand new way. This will also give me the opportunity to explore what I want to do further. And I do plan to make those explorations. I plan to make those explorations before the master's is even done. What do I want to do next? I've started my meditations again, giving myself a beautiful little space to meditate, to be comfortable and to really open my mind to what comes next. What do you do when you're stuck? What gets you out of those moments of saying, God, this isn't where I wanna be. What do I wanna do next? How do you get unstuck? Tell me, I'd love to know. I'd say these, I do these videos all the time and I think to myself, huh, I wonder if people really think you've got it all together. And I've said over and over again, a lot of the times 
These videos are just a way for me to do some self-therapy, to reflect and to analyze, to sometimes just vocalize exactly how I'm feeling. And that's one of these videos. I don't have the answers. I'm not even 100% sure if I'm on the right track, but I've said it and I've started to understand that I can't just stay here any longer, looking out through that film of unclarity. I want to get clear again. So maybe the answer for me right now in this moment is, I know I need to get clear again. I know I need to take stock and figure out what it is that comes next. Like Glennon Doyle says, what is the next best thing to move myself forward? Not the grand answer, not the grand plan. What is the next best step? And that's what I'm working on. Thank you for listening. Thank you for letting me be here to self-reflect and share with you. And hopefully it sparked something in you for you to say, hmm, maybe I need to do that too. I'm looking forward to our conversation in the comments below. And please do connect on social media with me. Click that like button so that this can be spread and it does help the channel. And please do click the subscribe and that little bell so you know when the next video comes out. And I'll see you next time on A Moment with Matthew.